the site for JMP and you just use your Miracosta College login in order to access it. And here we've got um, a couple of useful things. We have download JMP for Windows, which I'll be doing. I have a PC. Um, download JMP for Mac. Unfortunately, I do not have a Mac, so um, I can't film this, but I will recruit for that. But I'll recruit someone to do so. <laughs> okay. So I just clicked on download JMP for Windows, and then I just, it's down here in my downloads. Just need to wait until it's done. So notice it's a zipped file, all right? So I'm it, up here on my computer, it says compressed folder tools, I'm going to extract it, and I'm extracting all. And now it's going to be downloading uh, to this window, which is fine. It's a kind of a big file, so make sure you clear out your, your downloads when it's done and installed. Okay. And now we want to install our software. And now it says setup.exe. And it's giving me this Windows warning, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say install anyway. So now we just wait for it to install. And follow the prompts. I'm making it at 64 bit. And now it's going to install. All right, so now it has finished. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. And it'll let me know if there's any software updates, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that it works because it'll be under J. Now, if you want to pin it to your um, taskbar, which I like to do, then it'll show up like that and that's what it looks like, All right? So I'm gonna have it pinned and I'm going to click on it. Now it's saying, Please register your software. Great news, you don't need to register your software. Yeehaw! It's all set to run. Some people are having trouble with their licenses. If they installed like a previous version of JMP or, or it gets grumpy. If that happens, you come over here, all right, where it says download the zipped JMP license file. Okay, and this is on that same page, but updating existing JMP installations. So here, it comes up pretty quickly. We, we want to extract it, extract all. And I'll just put it here into my downloads. So now it's been extracted. So, what we need to do here is um, really just kind of follow those instructions. You the download the zipped file, you unzip it, you open the extracted folder and you locate the WIN folder and the jmp.per file inside it. So let's do that. And you'll know if you've unzipped it because one of them will say license zip and one of them will just say license. Okay, so I have a Windows machine, and do you see this JMP per file right here? So we found it here, just like the instructions. Let me make this a little smaller. Okay, so now what we want to do is open the hard drive in Windows Explorer, the hard drive meaning Windows C, it's going to be installed into program files and it's going to be under SAS, okay, because JMP is a SAS platform, right? That's a big uh, statistical software. So you open up SAS and then you'll see JMP Pro. Then you're going to see this 13 file, okay? So 
it wants you to to move the jmp.profile into this location. So now that we know where it is, let's go back. Um, we're gonna go back to our downloads, all right? And the license that's unzipped. And I have the windows. And jmp per, and what you do is you drag it or copy it. Um, drag it, hold it on the window C, uh, program files, it's that first program files, SAS, JMP Pro 13, and then you just drop it in there. And if you have one already, you replace the file, okay? Um, I am not going to do that because I think I downloaded the most recent version, so I'm just closing it. Right, but um, that what will happen is that will update your your licensing. Okay, so I hope this helps, and I hope you have a fabulous day and enjoy JMP. I'm making a bunch of movies this semester about how to do different things on it. So um, tune in and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.